Greetings, Grapple fans. Your director of fun, Mike Quackenbush, here with an offering on free match Monday that you just can't beat. We were live streaming yesterday from the Wrestle Factory, the final hour of power, a Chikaratopia exclusive program, and it was filled with twists and turns and maybe even a surprise return. Take a look as Gen 1 original Gran Akuma returns to a Chikara ring to face relative rookie and former Young Lions Cup champ, Silverhawk. High-flying former Young Lions Cup champion Silverhawk about to trade holds with a very dangerous competitor in Gran Akuma. Yes, it is great to see Gran Akuma back in the ring. Now, Silverhawk is coming in here with 1.4 title contention, so that's got to be on his mind. Right you are, Scott. Picked that up over Hermit Crab on the last hour of Power, the Chikaratopia exclusive program. Thanks so much, subscribers, for joining us this afternoon. Akuma looking to negotiate a counter, and he passed through hammerlock position to get it and used a side headlock take over to ground the high flyer. That's smart wrestling. Yes, indeed. And you saw immediately, you started talking, immediately rubbing it in the face of Silverhawk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gran Akuma is often possessed of a rather nasty disposition and a rather condescending pat on the head there, Scott. Yeah, a little bit of the mind game. I like that out of Gran Akuma. Gran Akuma, of course, has a martial arts background, and you'll see that all throughout his in-ring style. He is a precision striker. From behind the heel, took him down. Akuma drops flat. Over the top goes Silverhawk, accelerating off the ropes. Over the back and lands nimbly on his feet to the middle strand. Twist. He's got the reverse flying body scissors. And La Cazadora takes Gran Akuma down. Silverhawk with a flying drop kick. Fast, high-flying action here at the Wrestle Factory. Silverhawk got the better of the veteran there. He was able to turn up the speed and stay one step ahead of Gran Akuma. But Akuma had that one well scouted. A simple counter, but effective. Elevates him. Whoa! Sent him all the way up, and Silverhawk crashed to the mat chest first, and now just being peppered with a really hard kick across the pectorals by Gran Akuma. Yes, a vicious kick there having a huge effect. Ooh! And in the back. Mm-hmm. We talked about those punishing strikes of Gran Akuma, and there you see them on plain display as he stalks his prey in the corner. Silverhawk's got to get out of that turnbuckle. He doesn't want to be trapped there by Akuma. It just driving the air out of the lungs of Silverhawk makes it very hard to recover. Continuing to throw those punishing blows, and he's really taking his time, making Silverhawk suffer, making him think about each and every move. He's got the legs wrapped up here. Right, this type of figure fouring of the legs is called Kamigatame. And wrenching back like that, the way he's falling back and wrenching on the hold reminds me of Tatsumi Fujinami, the great Japanese junior heavyweight, and of course also a WWE Hall of Famer, Tatsumi Fujinami. Oh, it looks like he's going to stretch him out here. Oh! oh! Lifted him up, put his foot between the shoulder blades, and then accelerated the chest and face of Silverhawk right down into the mat. He's continuing to center his offense on the chest. Yes, a very effective maneuver. No way to protect yourself in that maneuver. Akuma beckoning for Silverhawk here to give him more. Look at this. Akuma's just absorbing everything Silverhawk throws at just him. begging for it having little to no effect. Oh, he grazed him with that Enzigiri, caught him on the top of the dome, but it was enough to send Akuma reeling back into the corner, Scott. Silverhawk's opportunity hits that splash there. Took flight with a stinger splash, gonna send him for the ride one more time. Keep your eye on Silverhawk, collides body to body, but you've gotta wonder, given how punished his chest has been, is this taking something out of Silverhawk as well? Yes, good, well scouted by Grand Akuma. He nailed that DDT, came down head first. That's a great way to follow up on an Enzigiri. Feeling it from the Chikarmi right now. Silverhawk peeling up Gran Akuma, scoops him, Northern Lights bomb! Dropped him right on top of his head. That was three head moves in a row, but it wasn't enough to hold Akuma down for the count of three. No, this Gen 1 original has something to prove here tonight will not go down that easily. No, it's gonna take more than that if you wanna put away a wrestler the caliber of Gran Akuma, and Silverhawk's gonna to have to come up with something else quick. You can't let a veteran presence like this gather up his breath or it's gonna be trouble. That's what I'm talking about, Scott. Oh, and right to the back of the head with those kicks. Mm-hmm, precision placement of every strike. No wasted motion from Gran Akuma, who took flight with a great drop kick and struck right between the shoulder blades. Yeah, I watched as Silverhawk's head snapped back there. 
a sadistic look on the face of Gran Akuma. He enjoys dishing out the pain. Doesn't matter who he's in the ring with, Akuma just loves a good fight. Yeah, I find he's not going for a cover. He's begging for him to get up. I guess he's just not done with him. I'm not sure what Akuma has in mind. He's got a number of lethal moves he can put you away with, as I think Silverhawk is about to discover. He unwinds him, threw that kick too high. He was ready, off to the ropes, goes Akuma up. He caught him. He's got him in the fireman's carry position. One of his favorites comes from here, Scott. Watch the MP4. He nailed it. Just all that weight across that injured chest. Whoa, the right shoulder blade came up at the last half second, and Gran Akuma's got a look of disbelief. He thought he had him. Silverhawk with a lot of heart showing it right here on the Hour of Power. Yeah, his whole chest was compressed by the MP4. It's a Death Valley driver that also has the added element of the body weight of the man executing it on top of it. Devastating move. And now it's just these kicks to the head. Yeah, this is the uh, insult being added to injury is what this is. Just not allowing Silverhawk to get to his feet. Akuma bullying Silverhawk, and now he's got him down on the mat. Going to try to further ground the high flyer with a jumping toe hold, and another figure fouring of the legs. He's going to step all the way through. Look how the right shoe of Akuma goes over the instep of Silverhawk. That locks this in position. Yeah, Silverhawk's got to make sure his shoulders stay off the mat, and this it could be a pinning predicament. Yep, this type of in, well, this it was an, we had an Indian Deathlock going on there. What you see up top right now is a double underhook. He has got him all tied up, and he tried to lift him up off the mat, but that allowed Silverhawk to spring free. Well, he's not free of Gran Akuma, who just power bombed him like he weighed nothing. And look at this, just walking away, not going for the cover here. Gran Akuma's really making Silverhawk think about it. And I don't know what, uh, what Kuma's trying to do here, but it seems to me like he's trying to prove something to Silverhawk. Wants him to get back up, show him his fighting spirit a little bit. Woo! He just cracked him! I just saw the sweat flying there. Doesn't take much from Gran Akuma to shut down an offensive flurry, and that's because there is so much power behind each and every one of his strikes. Oh. He just flattened him out on the mat with one kick. Yeah, so, you can hear him. He's calling for him. He's saying, fight! Wants to see what Silverhawk has got. Silverhawk throwing a lot at Gran Akuma, but not having a lot of effect here. No, and he shouldn't play Akuma's game here. He should stick to the high flying. That's his forte. Striking is Akuma's forte. Silverhawk is in there with a Gen 1 original, though, trying to prove himself to someone who's been here for quite some time. Right you are. And I think the goading of Gran Akuma got the better of Silverhawk. He threw a great-looking super kick. In my opinion here, he needs to go back to the flying. That got... one was effective, but no. He's got him underneath, unwinds, and that kick found the mark right in the center of the chest. Akuma scoops him all the way up. Keep your eye on Gran Akuma for the 10G crash! Brought him down right on his chest, Scott. That's got to be all. He got him! That's... Let's go down to Vlad for the official word. Here is your winner, Gran Akuma!